Are you ready to take a trip back in time? Today, we're going to be looking at the incredible evolution of Rockstar Games, one of the most beloved and respected developers in the industry. We'll explore the highs, the lows, and everything in between, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Grand Theft Auto 1997 Rockstar Games' first ever release, Grand Theft Auto, took the gaming world by storm. It was a top-down, open-world action game where players took on the role of a criminal and could steal cars, commit crimes, and cause mayhem in the game world. What set this game apart was its unique open-world mechanics, which allowed players to explore a vast game world with freedom and choice. Grand Theft Auto, London 1969, released in 1999. Building upon the success of the original game, Grand Theft Auto, London 1969 took players to the swimming 60s in the UK. The game offered a fresh setting and new gameplay mechanics, while still retaining the open world freedom that made the original game so popular. Grand Theft Auto 2, 1999. Grand Theft Auto 2 continued the series' trend of open-world, criminal-focused gameplay, but this time with a futuristic dystopian setting. Players could now drive flying cars, use laser weapons, and explore a world unlike any seen in the series before. Midnight Club. Street Racing, 2000. Midnight Club Street Racing was Rockstar's first foray into the world of racing games. It offered a unique blend of arcade-style racing and open-world exploration, allowing players to race through the streets of New York City, London, and Tokyo in a variety of exotic cars. Good luck. Smuggler's Run, 2000. Smuggler's Run was another early Rockstar game that focused on open-world driving, but this time with a focus on off-road vehicles. Players took on the role of a smuggler, transporting illegal goods through dangerous terrain while avoiding law enforcement. <laughs> Max Payne, 2001 Max Payne was Rockstar's first foray into the world of third-person shooters, and it was a massive hit. The game introduced a unique bullet time mechanic that allowed players to slow down time and dodge bullets, making for some truly epic gunfights. The game's film noir-inspired story and greedy atmosphere also helped set it apart from other shooters of the time. Grand Theft Auto 3, 2001. Grand Theft Auto 3 was a groundbreaking release for the series, taking the franchise into the third dimension and introducing a fully realized open world city for players to explore. The game's story, which followed the rise of a small time criminal to the top of the criminal underworld, was also a major step forward for video game storytelling. Smuggler's Run 2, Hostile Territory, 2001. Smuggler's Run 2, Hostile Territory, built upon the success of the original game, offering even more off-road driving action and open-world exploration. This time, players had to navigate through dangerous enemy territory while avoiding patrols and completing missions. Oni, 2001. Oni was an action game developed by Rockstar that featured a unique blend of hand-to-hand -hand combat and gunplay. Players took on the role of a cybernetically enhanced agent tasked with taking down a mysterious criminal organization. The game's anime inspired visuals and fast-paced gameplay helped it stand out in a crowded market.
State of Emergency, 2002. State of Emergency was a controversial release for Rockstar as it focused on rioting and violent protests in a fictional city. Players took on the role of a revolutionary fighting against a corrupt government and could cause chaos and destruction throughout the game world. While the game was criticized for its violent content, it was still a commercial success. Grand Theft Auto Vice City 2002 Grand Theft Auto Vice City took players to a fictional version of Miami in the 1980s complete with a vibrant soundtrack and an all-star voice cast. The game built upon the open-world gameplay of its predecessor but added new features like motorcycles and helicopters making it an even more immersive experience. Smuggler's Run, War Zones, 2002. Smuggler's Run, War Zones was the third entry in the off-road driving series and it focused on military-style vehicles and combat. Players had to navigate through war zones while avoiding enemy fire and completing missions. Midnight Club 2, 2003. Midnight Club 2 was a sequel to Rockstar's popular racing game, and it added new features like motorcycles and an online multiplayer mode. The game's open-world driving mechanics were also improved, allowing players to explore cities like Los Angeles, Paris, and Tokyo. Manhunt 2003 Manhunt was a controversial release for Rockstar, as it focused on a convicted criminal who was forced to participate in a deadly game show. The game's brutal violence and dark atmosphere caused controversy upon release, but it also received critical acclaim for its unique gameplay and storytelling. Well done, Cash. You're getting the hang of this deal. You're doing great, kid. Great A stuff. Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, 2003. Max Payne 2 was a sequel to the popular third-person shooter, and it built upon the unique bullet time mechanic that made the first game so popular. The game's story, which followed Max as he investigates a conspiracy in New York City, was also praised for its cinematic presentation. Repeat. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, 2004. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was the biggest and most ambitious game in the series to date. Set in a fictional version of California in the early 1990s, the game offered an enormous open world with three cities to explore, a massive countryside, and a host of new features like swimming and customizable character stats. Home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Red Dead Revolver 2004 Red Dead Revolver was Rockstar's first foray into the Western genre, and it was a hit with fans of both Westerns and action games. The game's story followed a gunslinger named Red as he seeks revenge against those who killed his family, and its arcade-style shooting mechanics were praised for their fun and accessible gameplay. Revenge shall be mine! Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories 2005 Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories was a prequel to Grand Theft Auto 3, and it was released exclusively for the PlayStation Portable. The game offered a condensed version of the original game's Liberty City setting, and it added new features like motorcycles and flying vehicles. The Warriors, 2005. The Warriors was a beat-em-up game based on the 1979 cult classic film of the same name. The game story followed the gang as they fight their way through rival gangs and corrupt police officers, and its arcade-style gameplay was praised for its fun and accessibility. It's worth it, boys! You want to clear some space? Let's see you toss them around! Rudy! Rudy! 
Bully 2006. Bully was another controversial release for Rockstar as it focused on a teenager who attends a boarding school and must navigate the complex social hierarchy. The game's open-world gameplay and unique setting made it stand out from other Rockstar titles, and its story was praised for its portrayal of teenage life. Don't look at me! You're horrible! I saw it. You ran towards the film. Ass white! Here. Rockstar Games Presents Table Tennis 2006 Rockstar Games Presents Table Tennis was a departure from the usual action-packed games that Rockstar was known for, instead offering a realistic simulation of the sport. The game's focus on gameplay mechanics and its intuitive controls made it a favorite among fans of sports games. Three, six. Six. Manhunt 2, 2007 Manhunt 2 was another controversial release for Rockstar as it was banned in several countries due to its extreme violence and gore. The game's story followed a mentally unstable man who escapes from a mental institution and goes on a killing spree, and its dark atmosphere and intense gameplay were praised by fans of horror games. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4, 2008 Grand Theft Auto 4 was a massive step forward for the series, offering an even more realistic open-world environment and a darker, more mature story. The game's main character, Nico Bellic, was a war veteran who immigrated to America to start a new life, and his struggles to adapt to a new culture and overcome his past made for a compelling narrative. Nico, it's your cousin. You want to shoot some pool? This isn't a good time, Roman. I got another type of shooting on my mind. Midnight Club, Los Angeles, 2008. Midnight Club, Los Angeles was the fourth entry in the racing series, and it focused on the underground racing scene in Los Angeles. The game's open-world environment allowed players to explore the city and compete in races against other players online. Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City 2009 Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City was a compilation of two expansion packs for Grand Theft Auto 4, The Lost and Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. Two stories offered new perspectives on the game's main narrative and added new features like new weapons and vehicles. Red Dead Redemption 2010 Red Dead Redemption was a massive hit for Rockstar, offering an immersive open-world environment set in the dying days of the American Old West. Players took control of John Marston, a former outlaw who was forced to work with the government to bring his former gang members to justice. The game's realistic setting, compelling story, and memorable characters made a fan favorite. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract this one? Kel A. Noir, 2011. Elday Noir was a departure from Rockstar's usual formula, offering a more story-driven and character-focused experience. Players took control of Cole Phelps, a detective in 1940s Los Angeles, as he worked his way up the ranks of the LAPD and investigated a series of brutal crimes. The game's unique facial animation technology and immersive setting made it a standout title for the studio. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Max Payne 3, 2012. Max Payne 3 was a long-awaited sequel to the popular third-person shooter series, and it offered an even more cinematic and immersive experience than its predecessors. The game's story followed Max as he worked as a private security contractor in Brazil, and its pretty violent gameplay and impressive visuals made it a hit with fans. Go first. Get up there. Grand Theft Auto 5 2013. Grand Theft Auto 5 was a massive success for Rockstar, becoming one of the best selling video games of all time. The game's open world environment allowed players to explore the fictional city of Los Santos and its surrounding countryside, 
and its three playable protagonists offered a unique perspective on the game's narrative. The game also introduced new features like online multiplayer and a heist system, making it a must-play for fans of the series. What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. Red Dead Redemption 2 2018 Red Dead Redemption 2 was another massive hit for Rockstar, offering an even more immersive open-world environment than its predecessor. The game was a prequel to the first game, following the story of Arthur Morgan, a member of the Vander Linde gang, as they try to survive in a rapidly changing world. The game's attention to detail and realistic depiction of life in the Old West made it a standout title, and its gripping story and memorable characters made it a fan favorite. After that, we saw releases of Red Dead Online 2018, Grand Theft Auto V, Premium Online Edition 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2, Online Frontier Pursuits 2019, Red Dead Redemption 2, Online Moose Shiners 2019, Red Dead Redemption 2, Online Naturalist 2020, which was an expansion for the game's online multiplayer component and little graphical improvements. And there you have it, the evolution of Rockstar Games. From their early beginnings with Grand Theft Auto to their more recent releases like Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar has consistently pushed the boundaries of what video games can be. With their focus on storytelling, immersive environments, and engaging gameplay mechanics, Rockstar has cemented themselves as one of the most respected and innovative studios in the gaming industry.